الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من بعد. What should we be concerning ourselves with as Muslims? We should be concerning ourselves with correcting our creed, correcting our uh, belief, strengthening our faith, strengthening our iman, making ourselves better Muslims and having better manners towards one another. And all of this comes with, all of our correction of character comes with holding on to the prophetic sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it also comes by staying away with adhering to groups and sects. Staying away from sectarianism. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in authentic hadith, he said, If tarakat al-Yahud ala ithna wa sabayin firqa, wa if tarakat al-Nasar ala ithna tain wa sabayin firqa, wa sa taftariku hadhi umma ala thalatha wa sabayin firqa, kullaha fin nar al-wahida, kullna man hiya ya Rasulullah, قَالَ مَنْ كَانَ عَلَى مِثْلِ وَمَا كَانَ عَلَيْهِ وَأَسْحَابِ الْيَوْمِ This is what the Prophet ﷺ said. He said that the Jews would break into 71 sects and the Christians would break into 72 sects. And my ummah, meaning the nation of Muslims, would break into 73 sects. All of them in the fire. Except one. Then the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, رضي الله تعالى عنهم اجمعين, said, and who are they, uh, Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? The Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Those who are on my sunnah and that of my companions today. This is what the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said. He didn't call himself a group of Sufis. He didn't call himself Ashari. He didn't say that you should follow uh, and make a new jama'ah called Jama'at Tabliq. He didn't say you should be Jama'at Takfir wa Hijra. He didn't say you should call yourself a Wahhabi, whatever that is. I still haven't figured it out and I wish someone would send me something that gives me authentic principles of these people who call themselves Wahhabis because I've never found them yet. But instead the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnatu khulafa rashidin He said it is upon you my sunnah and that of the uh, rightly guided Khalifid. And who are the rightly guided Khalifid? Radi Allah ta'ala anhum ajma'in. Of course they are Abu Bakr at the, at the Rasim. Wa Umar radi Allah ta'ala anhum. Wa Uthman radi Allah ta'ala anhum. Wa Ali radi Allah ta'ala anhum. These are the who? Who are they? They're the Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdiin. And the Prophet sallallahu said, Hold on to what they're upon. Hold on to my sunnah. Hold on to their sunnah with your molar teeth. That's what the Prophet wasallam said. And in another hadith, in the hadith of uh, Hudayfa bin Yaman, radiallahu ta'ala, he said, he, it was, the Prophet wasallam explained to us that even if you were by yourself and there was no imam and there was no jama'ah of Muslims, then you should hold on to the Prophet wasallam's sunnah with your molar teeth. That's what it's about. It's not calling yourself a sect or a group. And it's not cursing people and you have no right to do so and you have no knowledge of who those people are. Don't speak about the Salaf al-Saleh. Don't speak about the, uh, the, the pious predecessors. They're the ones who carried this religion. And who are the Salaf al-Saleh? They're the Sahaba. That's who the, the first. And that's the Rasihim. It's the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Don't speak about the Sahaba. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La tsubu ashabi. Do not curse my companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And those people who follow them, until the day of judgment, those people, are Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Those people are Ahl Athar. Those people are, uh, they are Ahl Sunnah. Those people are Ahl Hadith. Those people are Ahl Athar. Those people are uh, the Salaf Saleh. Those people who follow them and up until this time and age who are practicing Islam in its correct form in accordance to the un- understanding of the Prophet Sallallahu those people are the Salafiyun. Those people are Salafi. That doesn't mean everyone who calls himself Salafi is Salafi. People can call themselves Salafi, but they may have a wrong Aqidah. People may call themselves Salafi and they may have wrong actions. So don't worry about a name, but focus on the content. The content comes from Kitabillah, wa sunnatu Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the understanding of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.